okay guys today I'm going to be showing you how to color grade your drone footage and this is uh, footage that's taken off the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone and it was shot in D-Cine like and as you can see here at the waveform um, there is a bit of clipping um, in the clouds um, maybe it's not the clouds or maybe it's just the uh, building here and what we're gonna do uh, for the first note is uh, let's uh, expose it correctly and uh, we're gonna bring down the lift and you can see we are stretching the waveform down and over here you can see uh, it's going to be like almost uh, hitting the zero line so we don't want to let it hit the zero line because that means we are crushing uh, some of the blacks uh, which looks like uh, in this area okay so uh, I'm gonna name this exposure Okay, second note, what we're going to do is we are going to adjust the clouds. We're going to give the clouds a little bit more contrast, so uh, make a point in the middle. And we're going to make a small kind of an S curve around here. So just make another point somewhere around here. So you can see the the clouds getting you can, you can see the clouds getting contrasted a bit. So just lower down and let's see if we can just increase the contrast in the clouds. Okay, so that doesn't really work well so okay so just one note here and that will be good okay and let's uh, see if we can do a contrast here okay just increase the gamma slightly here Alright, so we're going to call this clouds. Fix. Alright. Add another note. So this time we are going to give it a little bit of color. Okay, because. Um, uh, D cine light and uh, D log we are going to get very little color so uh, we're going to go to the second tab here and in color boost we're going to just bring it up until we can see a little bit of vibrant colors that's uh, roughly about 26 or 28 Right, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna label it. So this is um, color boost. So we're just gonna give this uh, color boost. Actually, uh, gives uh, the saturated colors a bit of color, but it uh, increases. The lighter colors uh, much faster okay so we get more colors in the sky by doing that okay next note okay for the next note we are going to do the white balance okay I've I've added the uh, uh, exposure and some colors so that we can actually 
do a proper white balance on it so to to do a proper white balance just uh, get this white balance eyedropper and let's click on something that is supposed to be uh, really white like uh, probably like, uh, this building is, is uh, slightly off color how about here okay you can see that the clouds have become like totally white so that is what we want and I'll name this white balance okay after the white balance let's put another zero node okay what we're gonna do right now is to give it a richer color now alright so we will use the standard saturation here and increase it let's have a look at the vector scope and so you can see how much you are actually increasing it so I figure that is gonna be like that which is saturated and vibrant so it's like kind of uh, at 70 value okay so now I'm gonna have to do right now I don't like the color of the trees because it's very very yellowish so I'm gonna just uh, use the curves I'm gonna do a hue versus hue so that I'm gonna change the uh, hue color of the trees to more green than yellow okay so I'm just gonna pick the yellow yeah so just expand it a bit more expand this value a bit more and uh, just put it down slightly to add a bit of blues to it all right looking a lot better now okay so uh, this note is called saturation and this note is called um, Q shift okay so next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the sky uh, more bluish alright so add another zero node okay and here is the sky so to make the sky more blue so we are just going to um, increase the saturation of this shade of blue so we will use the uh, hue versus saturation curve I'll just pick this section of the sky which is uh, slightly purplish okay expand it out a little bit okay increase the saturation here that looks pretty good so let's uh, play it back and see how it looks like I'll just uh, 
That looks just awesome, isn't it? Okay, let's see without, with and without, without, with. Okay, so here's how we actually make the uh, LUT. Just go to the icon here, right click, and uh, generate. 3D LUT you can select 33 point cube or 65 point cube so I'm gonna do a 65 point cube but it will be um, heavier processing on uh, those uh, lower end machines so this is already my Da Vinci Resolve uh, folder so I'll name it Mavic Air to Horizon so I'm gonna use this LUT for all uh, footage with the horizon and with clouds so that's save okay now that we have made the LUT let's uh, try to apply it to another clip and see how it looks like I'll just go to my edit tab okay let's see like uh, I'm gonna just choose one okay this is beautiful let's see how it looks like here okay first thing to do is to check the exposure Oops. all right maybe I should just slow down the lift just a little bit for a little bit more contrast add another node and apply the LUT Mavic Air 2 Horizon LUT okay so it kind of works well so if you feel that the uh, colors are too saturated you can just bring it down that okay so let's go to full screen have a look at it So that's how you build the LUT and uh, you can apply it to the rest of your other Mavic Air 2 shots um, but only in the scene light mode. So I'm not sure how it will look like on a DJI Phantom 4 or a DJI uh, Mavic Pro 1 uh, both using the scene light because I have not tried that yet. So. Uh, if you have those drones, you have those footages, you are just welcome to try it. But you can actually repeat the steps, create a different look and uh, use it for the rest of your other drone footages. Anyway, I will put a link to the LUT and you can download it and apply it and see how yours compares to this one. So like and subscribe if you want to see more content because in the next episode I'm going to be showing how 
to uh, color grade a D-Log footage from a Mavic 2 Pro. Take care and good night.